I'm a public school dad, tech entrepreneur, and community advocate. As a longtime Seattle resident, I'm tired of watching our politicians put rhetoric over results. I also happen to have a background in public policy, and it saddens me to see our city leaders drowning evidence-based policy in an ocean of hand-wringing, process, and performative politics. Too many people have paid the price. My name is Ron Davis, and I'm running with a serious plan to build the ambitious future we all deserve. But I can't do it without you. I didn't start life in a place like Roosevelt. I'm the product of a teen pregnancy, but my parents eventually managed to buy a house and build us a beautiful life. I got really lucky, went to college, graduated from Harvard Law School, launched a tech company, and have been a business leader ever since. But journeys like mine are impossible in Seattle today, and the barriers are twice as high for people who don't look like me. I think we can all agree that Seattle should be a place where people from any background can afford to raise a family or build a career and age in place. I'll work tirelessly to deliver an affordable city that our children can live in and where we leave no one on the street. I'll also fight to make it as easy to get around without a car as it is with one, making us a green, clean, climate and livability leader. And as a parent to two little boys, I also won't stop until Seattle is safe for everyone. I'm the only candidate with a serious plan to stop crime before it starts with evidence-based prevention, to quickly send the right professional for each emergency, and to rebuild trust in law enforcement through good governance and accountability. To build tomorrow's economy, I'll double down on our emerging and in existing strengths in tech, AI, the life sciences, and bioinformatics, and expand apprenticeships into our schools. We'll attract tomorrow's workforce with housing and childcare they can afford in neighborhoods they want. I'm the only candidate with an actual plan to build the fairer tax code. I'm proud to be endorsed by unions, climate leaders, the local Democrats, business leaders, community leaders, and current and former electeds like King County Council members Gurmai Zahalai and Larry Gossett, Port Commissioners Toshigo Hasegawa, Sam Cho and Ryan Calkins, and many more. I'd be honored by your support. My name is Ken Wilson, and I'm running for the Open District 4 seat. As a small business owner and civil engineer with 31 years of experience building major infrastructure and public works, I'm running to bring back pragmatic policies, fresh perspective, common sense solutions that work, and a return to basics for our city. I'm a UW grad and completed my master's degree while working full time to pay for it. My wife was born in Seattle, and I've lived nearly three decades in District 4 Wallingford, where we raised two daughters in public schools. The current council has failed to address issues like public safety, homelessness, and housing affordability. I've been asking people I meet in our city moving, is our city moving the right way? The people I speak with feel the city is not. They don't feel safe. They see amazing resources spent with little progress creating a livable Seattle for all. As your council member, I will work to get back to the basics and will make decisions that improve livability. With the right council leadership, we can deliver on safe neighborhoods, restore police staffing to the needed levels, provide well-maintained roads and bridges, protect critical green canopy, and create a vibrant downtown business environment that makes our city a great place to live and work. As a civil engineer, I have the background to safeguard growth that protects affordable housing for all stages and ages, benefit and benefits our neighborhoods without overstressing existing infrastructure. Seattle is a world-class city and deserves a council member who understands public works supports local business, protects parks and schools, funds our police and emergency responders, and acts to address homelessness. I will be that council member, and I ask for your vote. Hi, my name is Maritza Rivera. I'll never forget waiting and worrying outside Ingram High School as my teenage girls were in lockdown during the recent shooting there. It brought home that things are off track. I grew up in a tough neighborhood in the Bronx on the top floor of a five-story walk-up. My dad was a welder and proud union member. My mom worked in a factory. They moved from Puerto Rico seeking a better life. I found that life here in Seattle. Unfortunately, due to poor decisions and performative posturing by the Seattle Council, including pledging to defund the police, our quality of life has eroded. Our neighborhood small businesses are closing and our streets are less safe. I'll make public safety my top priority. Five minute response times for priority 911 calls, get guns off our streets and out of our schools, shut down open air drug markets, address addiction and the mental health crisis. It's also unacceptable that three years after the murder of George Floyd, 
Seattle still has no alternative to non-armed response to 911 calls. Not all situations require uniformed police officers, but some do. I'll prioritize. I will bring people together to build more affordable housing and address the homelessness crisis. I currently serve as the Deputy Director of the Office of Arts and Culture at the city. I worked in the Clinton White House as the Hispanic Liaison for the ACLU post 9-11 to protect Muslim communities from xenophobia and for former council member Tom Rasmussen. With better governance, Seattle can be progressive, safe, and vibrant. I would be honored to earn your support. Hello, Seattle, and hello, District 4. My name is George Artem, and I'm running to be your representative behind the city council dais. Some of you know me as just Artem, or hey you, I recognize you from somewhere. Well, yeah. I've done some things and been in situations that I'm not proud of, but who hasn't? It took a lot of help from friends, family, recovery circles, and shelters to help get me to where I'm at today. And one thing that I've learned in my personal recovery is to take accountability, clean my side of the street, make amends, and wake up to try another day. I'm an immigrant to this country, and I've lived in Greater Seattle for over three decades. I attended the University of Washington and completed both my undergraduate and graduate studies there. And in 2021, I attended law school on the East Coast. I decided to run for office because when I came back, the city that I love became totally unrecognizable. Once bustling commercial districts like the CID had turned into open air drug markets where people are still getting high and selling stolen goods. In 2016, we dipped our toes into socialism. I know because I played a part in that. Today, there are members of the Democratic Party that openly promote communism and want to dismantle the system. Like communism, the defund movement has been an abject failure. Violent crime is up, drug use is up, and the fentanyl crisis should be waking everybody up. Since 2017, the Seattle Police Department has implemented 90% of nearly 300 community policing recommendations. They're a changed department and deserve our respect. In recent years, local government has raised and spent a lot of money with not much to show for it. We need to acknowledge the failures in wasteful spending and establish a culture of accountability in city government. Like you, I have a lot of questions. And if I'm elected, I'll get answers.